Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the default program file installation directory location on your Windows 10 computer. So, while I have a little while ago, probably a couple years ago, made a tutorial about how to change the default downloads folder location, in today's tutorial, I'm going to actually show you guys how to change the default program files installation location. So pretty straightforward process here guys, and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So basically you want to make sure you have plenty of hard disk space wherever you're going to save this program file directory to. So obviously you know if you're downloading a lot of programs you might save it to some external drive. So pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to go jump right into it. Before you modify the directory we're going to go ahead and actually locate where we want to save everything to. So let's just open up File Explorer. So if you had the taskbar icon, you can just left click on it. It's just easier visually to show just searching for it and then we're gonna select it. And let's just say we're gonna select this PC on the left side. And let's say we're gonna go underneath our local disk and then Windows and then just some random folder here. I would suggest not being as haphazard as I am. I would like to think that you guys actually have pre-decided or premeditated on a location that you wanna save these program files but we're gonna go ahead and just select this random folder here I'm gonna click after the address or the path that we're in here so you can see that bar I just clicked out over on the far right side and then I'm gonna right click on this path and then I'm gonna select copy so now we just saved this is gonna be where our path is for new programs so minimize out of there open up the start menu type in reg edit Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, I would suggest you create a backup of the registry before you proceed. So in the event that anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be kept to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import the backup back in, you would just select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward process on how to do that. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft, so go ahead and double click on Microsoft. Should be a Windows folder, scroll down a little bit and locate Windows and double click on it. Do the same thing for current version. And now just left click on the current version folder. And on the right side there should be something that says program files dir. So go ahead and just double click on that. And, you know, just if anybody was confused on how we got here, if you need to go and pause the video, you can see each backslash up at the top of the registry editor is a different folder we've gone under to get to this point, or a different key, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway, now that we are back in here and we've just double clicked on the program file dir string value, we're going to go paste in the value data that we copied earlier to our clipboard and just highlight over whatever's in here, which should probably say program files. I'm just going to paste this in. Select OK. So now the program file directory is going to be saved to this new path that we just pasted in there. So pretty straightforward process guys. Again, I wouldn't recommend following exactly what I showed here in terms of where I saved it to. This was merely an example of what you would paste in. You should be able to easily navigate to wherever you want to save the new program file location to. So that really is is not my concern in this tutorial, it's just showing you guys how to change it and the actual act of changing it. So once you're done with that, you're going to have to restart your computer and that should be about it. So again, restart your computer, then you can download programs and it should automatically save to that file location. So pretty straightforward for process guys. Do a buzz able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.